Dead. Okay, what's the next one? What? Hey guys, Craner here and welcome back to yet another random video. And this video is actually gonna be all about fidget spinners. Are these things still cool? I don't really know. I don't really see a lot of people talk about them, but I found a website that it legitimately has some of the coolest fidget spinners that I have ever seen. And I might end up buying some today but only if you guys want it so how this is gonna go down tell me down in the comments which of these fidget spinners you want me to order and i'm gonna order them and then make a video about them when i get them so how we're gonna do this just type in um, the the time that you saw the fidget spinner so it for lies <laughs> so if you see a fidget spinner that you would like for me to order so you can see how it like looks and everything like that just type just type out the time that i looked at the fidget spinner i'll go through the comments and then we'll order some cool fidget spinners and i might give some away to you guys too who knows that would be a lot of fun though if you guys are still enjoying these videos make sure to hit that like button down below also before we get into this i just want to say that on the tia and craner channel me and my girlfriend's channel you guys already know about this channel we just uploaded the house tour and today we are uploading a video where we test if we are ugly or not on the internet like you can upload pictures and the internet will tell you if you're ugly or not but definitely i would recommend you guys go see the house tour because it's something i want to show to every one of you guys because you have blessed me with so much in my life so make sure to check out that channel it'll be the first link down in the description or just search let me just let me let me make this real easy for you guys. You can just search Tia and Craner like that. Or I think you can even type Tia and it'll pop up. It's this channel right here, basically. But there's also a link down in the description. Anyway, without any further ado, let's look at some of these cool fidget spinners. So the site I'm looking at is called Etsy.com. This is not sponsored, by the way, at all. It's the site that I've used a lot if I've wanted like some kind of weird things. Because a lot of the things on here you don't really see on Amazon or eBay. It's kind of like very handmade, a lot of these things. And I put it to sort it by highest price. Because I assumed that the coolest one would be the most expensive one, right? Actually, you know, before we get into this, let's try to test out. Let's see what the most expensive fidget spinner is. So let's go from 2,000 Danish money, by the way. 2,000 Danish money is like $800. And then uh, to 5,000, which is like $1,000, something like that. Let's search on that. Let's see what there is. Only one? But why is it 2,000 of my money, dude? Why is that? That's a lot of money. $329. This one is $300, guys. I don't see anything that special about it, but maybe it's like made out of freaking, I don't know, freaking diamonds. Okay, Black Lotus. Uh, oh, it's got a lot of, oh, a lot of people have bought this. Very well. I would buy again. Good seller. This is not even the stuff that I'm looking at. Oh, it's just other stuff from this guy. Okay. Well, why the crap is this one worth so much? Raw? Okay, if I choose raw, it's not as expensive. But if I choose polished, it's going to be a lot more expensive. $300. Are you kidding me? Spin radius, 25 millimeters. Okay. So you can see what it's made of uh, here. 70 grams. That's quite a heavy one. T uh, tritium option design. The main body is one piece. Two buttons. Table spinnable. Uh, material sterling silver finish polished black patina on details that's probably why it's so expensive freaking sterling silver i don't know anything about that but i assume that it's expensive okay it has silver in the name okay so what else is there fidget spinner cthulhu laser engraved yo that's really cool yo this one is really awesome actually it's like a hundred bucks or something? It, it was quite expensive, but I assume that <laughs> Donald Trump spinner. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's hilarious. Look at his face. He's such a happy little Trump, dude. He's so happy to be a fidget spinner. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. All right, that was the Donald Trump one. Ooh. This is a shuriken design. Look at this thing, dude. That does not look bad at all. That looks really awesome. Yeah. 
Dude, I don't know what it is. I still think fidget spinners are really cool, man. They really help me with, like, stress and just something to do with my hands. This is the one we've already looked at right there. Then you can buy a bunch of the normal ones for uh, about 200 uh, no, like, $300 or something. You can buy, like, a, a big pack of them, I suppose. UFO spinning fidget. Oh, Wow, that's sick! How does that work? Handmade item. That's why they are expensive as well, because people actually sit there and make them. Yeah, this one looks cool too. What's this one about? Wow. That one is huge. Look at how huge this part is. Like, uh, the part in the middle on this guy. Look at how small it is on, my, on mine. And then look at how big it is on the picture. That's this entire thing. I think that one might be really good. Wait, let's see how much it weighs, actually. Um... Is there any way to see that? <laughs> I don't really see that anywhere, but that's a sick one, though. Okay, so what else is there? This one is made of, like, tires or something. That looks cool, too. And then there's one of these as well, which is less expensive. It's from the same company. I guess this one is not polished. Maybe that's the difference. What is this? Is that a fidget spinner? Oh, and it's also a tool? What? Stainless spin... Stainless spin tool, multi-spin. Wait, so it's also a tool. Oh, it's like a wrench type of thing. But you can also spin it. <laughs> Yo, that's it. You can like unscrew screws with it and then spin it. That's really cool. Uh, th uh, these are like made from gun. Like uh, the, the bullets. Yeah, I think these 45 caliber bullets. That's pretty freaking cool too, dude. There's a lot of these I would like to get, but they are very, very expensive. This one looks kind of normal. Still cool, though. We got another tool, and this is like a whole box of just fitted spinners. So you get a lot for your money right there. Ooh, custom Joker spinner. Oh, that one is sick. How did they make that? Yo, that one is really cool. It has the Joker on it. That's awesome. We got to see which ones I'm going to get. Okay, what's the next one? What? Is this a fidget spinner? No way. No way this is a fidget spinner. It looks like something from the freaking medieval ages, dude. It looks like something that was made a thousand years ago. What? And it has crystals in it? I don't know about you guys, but this actually looks really cool. And it's definitely handmade. And here he is, like, weighing the crystals. So it's actual crystals in the fidget spinner. But you can also use it, like, you can take out the middle part. What? Are you kidding me? Labradorite crystal spinner for the crystal lovers. What? So after many hours and after many days, this beautiful Labradorite... Spinner meets my approval and is ready for its new home. What? So he made this all by himself. He's made a bunch of them. They look like they were made a thousand years ago. And that's really freaking cool in my opinion. This looks like something you can like dig up off the ground and put in a museum, dude. I wonder how well it works. That is absolutely awesome. That's definitely one of my favorite ones. This one's got to be so big though. It's got to be a huge freaking spinner. Like, one you have to, like, hold like, like this and then BAM! We should test that out. Like, I'm not saying I'm gonna get it. Only if you guys want me to. But we should totally test out how a fidget spinner that big works. That one looks pretty normal. We got a cool one right there, too. Let me see if I can find one that just stands out a whole lot. This one looks awesome, too. And they look freaking huge. All of these fidget spinners are so much cooler than the ones I found on Amazon. Etsy is such a good place for this type of stuff. And there's another one of this guy. What? These look so cool. I wonder how well they work, though. I'm actually really curious. But I'm not going to spend $200 or something unless you guys want me to. Oh, that one is really... I really like the... Uh, the Black Lotus Tri Spinners. I really like those. They look like they could work very well as well. You know how some fidget spinners just break in a day or so? I don't think those would do it. Uh, world's first fidget spinner heads. You gotta be kidding me. Somebody put a fidget spinner on top of a head. I'm sorry, bro. But no. No. That's not what fidget spinners are made for. You can't just do that.
<laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, this one looks like it's from an alien movie, dude. What? And it's not even that expensive. It's like 10 bucks. Yo, that one looks sick. Okay, what else is there here? There's a bunch of these guys that look pretty similar. Let's try to just go forward in this. Ooh, Mario Glow in the Dark 3D printed spinner. That's like five bucks or something. That looks pretty cool too. I like Mario. Uh, all right, what, what else is there? A bunch of camera ones. Oh, Ying Yang. This one looks really cool too. It looks like it would be huge as well. Yo, these are cool, man. I like this website. I hope you guys want me to buy some of these just so I can play with it a bit more. <laughs> just so I have some new fidget spinners. And this one is a um, fidget spinner USB drive. So you can use it for both things. And it looks really awesome. That's a really cool design. And you can just take off the top and use it as a, a, as a freaking USB stick as well. I mean, that's pretty... Wait, is this a freaking... This is one of those brass knuckles that you can like hit people with. But it also spins. I feel like at this point, people are just making everything spin. Oh, and you can also open bottles with it. I mean, that's pretty cool. Just don't hit people. <laughs> just punch somebody in the face. And then you're like, oh, spin time. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hilarious. A bunch of custom made ones here that says like police. Uh, these are really cool, dude. Oh, oh. Dude, I want to buy these so bad, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. I feel like I've seen this one on Amazon as well. This one is awesome. I feel like I should get that one. I'm really using every bone in my body right now not to just purchase these things because I don't just want to purchase them for no reason. I've already spent a lot of money on fidget spinners. I'm not about to do it unless you guys want to see a video of it. Uh, another one that's made a thousand years ago. <laughs> those are I think those are my favorites because I don't really see how they work. But I would like to try it out. This one is really weird too. It only has... So you hold that end and then you spin it with the one thing. I don't think those work as well as the ones that have, like, more, you know, things on them. But I could be wrong. You know, I, I'm not a freaking fidget expert. At this point, I should... Ooh, wow, this one looks cool, too. What? It's like a police thing again. Police officer. Yo. That one looks really cool, too. Man, they have a lot of cool fidget spinners here. Man. I, if I had known Etsy had this many cool fidget spinners, I wouldn't have bought, uh, bought my fidget spinners on Amazon. I'm just saying, okay? I, I, th I think I would have kept it to Etsy. I ordered for this website before, and they have never let me down. So, yeah, it sounds like I'm sponsored, but <laughs> I swear I'm not. Yo, ooh, that one is cool, too. It's a little dragon thing. Yo, that one is sick. Anyway, I gotta get off this website, man, or else I'm just gonna be too tempted to purchase all of these fidget spinners. Remember to let me know down in the comments if there's any in particular you would like for me to actually buy and try out in the video. I feel like you guys might be interested in seeing how those that look really old work, because I'm even interested in that. Are they bad? Are they good? I have no idea. But we can test it out. If you guys want me to, I'll definitely do it. But anyway, that, 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 that's gonna have to be it for today's episode. What the crap was that? If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to let me know. Remember to check out me and Tia's channel down in the description. There's a link or search Tia and Crater on YouTube. Because we just did that house tour and I want all of you guys to see it. And uh, just know that I'm thankful for everything you guys do for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!